going on, Vinyl Community? Welcome to another video with The Record Spinner. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing five continuous vinyl locked grooves. Now, one of the most unique things that can entail when it comes to vinyl records are the use of locked grooves. Traditionally, when a record runs out, there is a silent groove that the stylus will play endlessly until the tone arm is lifted, just so the stylus won't hit the center label. Sometimes artists and mastering engineers will get a little creative and include little recordings and messages towards the runoff groove, and what gives it the label locked groove is that the groove will play infinitely until the tone arm is lifted. Now, I often wonder how long the average listener will let a locked groove play out until they decide it's over, but I digress. I figured that this would be a fun video to do to showcase from my personal collection some examples of locked grooves in vinyl and how it adds another interesting facet to the world of vinyl and the ways that the format's boundaries can be pushed. So enough of the chit chat, let's jump into what this video is all about. First up is perhaps the most notable of them, and that is the Beatles, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. As that last monumental chord of A Day in the Life fades away, there is a 15 kilohertz high frequency tone that is heard. Now, this tone can perhaps be inaudible to the human ear. Hearing is all subjective, uh, but it was at John Lennon's suggestion that it should be included so it would be heard by and annoyed dogs. Then this proceeds into some backwards laughter and random gibberish with John saying, been so high and and Paul McCartney saying, never could be any other way. It is a very quirky, experimental way to round off an album that is so musically dense and rich of many textures and influences. Next up is actually a response to the Sgt. Pepper locked groove, and that is the one found at the end of the album, The Who Sell Out. And this one ties into the overall theme of the album with the various commercials and advertisements that play in between the songs on the album. And the locked groove that is featured at the end of Side B is a snippet of an audio jingle for The Who's UK label, Track Records. Next up is Pink Floyd's Adam Hart Mother. On the album's closing track, Alan's Psychedelic Breakfast, it opens with the sound of a dripping tap that Roger Waters then found a way to work that into a rhythm for the piece, which involves their roadie Alan uh, preparing, discussing, and eating breakfast with various sound effects and dialogue recorded in Nick Mason's kitchen with the musical portions recorded at Abbey Road. Now, the piece becomes full circle at the end with the sound of the dripping tap that is featured at the beginning, and on the first pressings of the album, there is a locked groove that plays out that running tap infinitely. Now, the reissue unfortunately doesn't feature that locked groove, but I thought that it should still be worth mentioning. Next up is Rush's Fly By Night. At the end of the last track on side A, By Turn the Snow Dog, you can hear some wind chimes playing that play continuously when the locked groove is played. And the same deal with the Adam Hart Mother reissue, the locked groove isn't featured, but it does make for a cool ending effect. <laughs> And last but not least, we have a twofer. There are two locked grooves on this record, and that is 
Jack White's Lazaretto. I did a whole video talking about the vinyl pressing of this album, which if you want to go back and check it out, please do so. Even if you're not a Jack White fan, the vinyl pressing of Lazaretto is a must-have for any vinyl collector, enthusiast, what have you. Now, among the many bells and whistles that come in this pressing, there are two locked grooves at the end of each side of the LP. Uh, at the end of side A, there is a locked groove that plays some guitar feedback that is featured on the last song of the side, which is High Step Baller. And then at the end of side B, there is a locked groove of various bird and crow noises that can be heard on the last song of the side called Want and Able. So there you guys go. Those are five continuous vinyl locked grooves. Here is a question for you guys. What records do you own that feature locked grooves? Please drop a comment down below. I'd love to know. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support this channel, be sure to check me out on Patreon. See you guys in the next video. And most importantly, keep the records spinning. 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 Keep the records spinning.